Meaning you're not gay. I'm, yeah, I'm not gay. So just, it's a lot of people who are, mm -hmm. and they have to hide. According to court documents obtained from Radar Online, Howard admits to inviting Stephen Harper to have sex with him. Imagine you're getting ready for a hot and steamy hookup with the rich and famous athlete. It's late at night. It's about to be a sneaky link and you're excited. But when you get over there, instead of sparks flying and you having the time of your life with the superstar that slid in your Instagram DMs, you are forced into a threesome with a transgender woman that you didn't agree to. And then your fantasy becomes a nightmare as the sick 16 championship winning basketball player who's built like a superhero decides that you are going to do whatever he says and no isn't an option. They gonna have each of somebody's gonna have to give us some boo and it ain't just that simple. <laughs> well, this is the alleged Dwight Howard story as told by the man who was now accusing him of sexual assault. Screenshots of their conversation were submitted as evidence with Dwight Howard saying stuff like, yes, I'm into freaky stuff. Now I want you to know I'm not gay or anything. I'm just a little nasty sometimes. I don't want to offend you. And the entire story about how this is all unfolded is insane. And now Dwight Howard has confirmed parts of it. Well, the part about him being gay. But other than that, he says that it went down totally differently. Of course. Howard has denied assaulting Howard. Harper. He says everything that went down was 100% consensual. The problem with that is that this isn't the first man to accuse Dwight Howard of being gay and doing some shady stuff. As his alleged ex-boyfriend came forward to expose him in the past for allegedly threatening him after they broke up. And why did they break up? Because Dwight allegedly had an affair with a trans sex worker named Kitty. The same Kitty that was allegedly a part of this surprise threesome that has Dwight Howard battling these allegations all over the internet and back then, Dwight denied everything, including being homosexual. So now people are confused because we know he was lying about that. But is he lying about this? Everybody touches the ball. Right. But remember, everything said here is alleged. And like always, we here at the Church of Joe Stone don't judge. We just tell the story better than anyone else. And we let you decide if Dwight Howard has problems with consent or if the multiple people who have accused Dwight Howard of playing by prison rules are telling the truth. But let's get to the story. Now, exactly what's going on? What do we know and what is the truth? Well, after years of speculation about his sexuality, the truth about Dwight Howard is finally coming to light as another man comes forward and accuses the former NBA player of assault and a threesome going wrong. And yeah, it's bringing all of his stuff that's in the closet out of it. You see, rumors about Dwight being gay have been around for a long time and he's always denied it. And we here don't judge and it's okay if he wants to live in or out of the closet. But the problem is this is the first time he's being accused of something far more serious and it's forced him to come clean about his sexual preferences in court. Court. You see, Dwight was outed after a male model named Stephen Harper filed a lawsuit, accusing the NBA player of forcing him to engage in a threesome against his will back in 2021. In the lawsuit, Harper claims that Howard and a second man, or transgender woman, forced him to engage in a threesome against his will at the basketball player's Atlanta area home. And the lawsuit gives us a lot of details. See, it states that the two men met virtually in May 2021 through Instagram, when Dwight Howard DM'd him. And again, Dwight Howard confirms this. And of course, we have the text messages, but yeah, they later arranged to meet through text messages, and some of the messages were included in the lawsuit, and they are pretty goddamn freaky. I'm gonna be honest with you. He's asking for all types of pictures and videos, and he's getting asked to get the DMs with this man, and he is definitely the aggressor. But then on the night of July 19th, 2021, Harper went to Dwight's home for a one-on-one -on -one hookup. But while he was already on the way, Dwight proposed that they make it a threesome. Hey, would you like to have another person in the room? Now, Harper says he declines, but in the text messages shared in the lawsuit, the two are discussing it, but he never actually says no to the proposal in those messages. In them, Dwight says, allegedly, you want to have a threesome? Harper responds with who and is that what you want? Dwight says, a dude laugh out loud or a girl laugh out loud and now we know he was laughing because it was a little bit of both, according to him. But they can't come till after four. Harper then responded saying he was 30 minutes away. Now fast forward and Harper says that when he arrived, Dwight was alone. Although his son was sleeping in his bedroom. Come on, guys. They then went to Dwight's bedroom where they got undressed and, well, they kissed while watching television, according to Harper. However, Dwight was texting someone the entire time, and after about 45 minutes, according to Harper, he excused himself, and when he returned, he was accompanied by a third man. Or, again, he was accompanied by a transgender woman, Kitty Zane Coffer, who was presenting as a woman. Now, apparently, this is where Dwight told Harper that this is something that he and Kitty do all the time, and that they wanted to have one with him. Harper says, though, that he continued to turn down that offer and that he didn't want to do it 
would, but felt pressured and threatened by physical harm if he didn't agree. Meaning that he felt like this 6'10 football player who's built, again, like a damn superhero and apparently wasn't okay with him saying no. Because he claims that Dwight started to get angry when he said no and told him that he was going to do whatever he told him to do. And that's when the basketball player and his accomplice allegedly forced Harper to engage in these acts against his will, which included him having to put his mouth on places where he didn't want to put his mouth. Now it gets worse because after their assault, Harper claims that Dwight refused to let him leave on his own in an Uber and insisted that Kitty drive him home. So he is now suing Dwight for assault and battery, false imprisonment, and intentional infliction of emotional distress. Now, people are going to always ask the same old question. Why didn't Harper go to the police? Well, apparently, a year after the incident happened, Harper filed a report with the Gwinnett Police Department, although the case was dropped after he failed to show up for the in-person questioning. But the allegations in the criminal case are identical to the ones he is now mentioning in the lawsuit. With all the evidence being presented, Dwight has been forced to come forward and admit to having this encounter with Stephen Harper, saying that yes, this happened. However, he claims that it was all consensual and that the alleged victim knew all about the threesome before it happened. He is fighting the lawsuit on the grounds that Harper is lying about what really happened for personal and monetary gain, a story we've heard a lot. And yeah, although Dwight denies certain parts of the lawsuit on a legal basis, he basically confirms the entire story that Harper tells, how they met, the nature of their conversations. So at this point, I mean, he's saying he did 90% of what happened, just not the whole 100. But the crazy part is, allegedly Dwight admitted that he stopped when he saw that Harper didn't like what was going on. And that's how the encounter ended. That's from Dwight Howard, allegedly. So it sounds like he wasn't into it and you knew it and that's why you stopped. But okay, now Dwight Howard posted on social media where he addressed these rumors and basically confirmed the accusations. This time he did not try to deny it, but instead questioned why everyone was all of a sudden so concerned about who he spends his time with. But bro, that's not what happened. People weren't concerned about who you spend your time with. They were concerned that you try to take someone's sanctity without <laughs> asking. That's what they were concerned about. Mind your business. That's the problem with y'all people. Y'all worried about who people spend their time with. Whatever I'm doing in my bedroom is my damn business. Whatever you doing in your bedroom is your damn business. That ain't for everybody. And everybody don't need to know. You ain't got to say anything about what you're doing in your fucking house. It's your house. You ain't got to explain that to nobody. And yes, it's true that whatever he does in his bedroom does not matter. And it should be of no concern of anyone else. And we are not here to gay bash or shame Dwight in any way for his sexual preference, whether he wants to lie about it or not. And I don't think that that's anyone's place to judge. But it does matter if what you're doing in the bedroom is potentially illegal, especially if it affects your actual career. You see, Dwight's final season with the NBA was with the Lakers in 2021 to 2022. Since then, he's gone overseas to play with the Taiwanese-based team from the Toy John Leopard. I probably said it wrong, but since news of this broke, many have speculated that the NBA knew about this ahead of time, and that's probably why he didn't get picked up by any teams, although he's a former All-Star and championship winner. And Stephen A. Smith even alluded to that, claiming that the pending assault and battery allegations likely scared teams away. Dwight Howard is in the wrong is in the news for the wrong reasons right now. And it states NBA star Dwight Howard has denied sex assaulting a man. His name is Stephen Harper. Howard said he exchanged text messages with Harper, which included sex explicit content, such as photographs and videos. Lord have mercy. Hold on. Let me just pause. One, Howard admitted that they went to his room, took off their clothes and kissed consensually. But Harper then claims Howard surprised him by introducing him to a man dressed as a woman. Harper said the man called himself Kitty. He began performing oral sex on Dwight Howard. And I can't do this no more. Stop, 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 stop. And if we're being honest, Dwight's last season with the Lakers was not exactly impressive. He averaged career lows in points and rebounds. That combined with a year off and rumors of pending assault allegations likely made it risky for teams who were thinking of signing the 37-year-old anyway. Now, hilariously enough, former Robert Mace reacted to Dwight's response to the allegations on a recent episode of It Is What It Is talk show with Cameron. And he shot down the idea that it doesn't matter as well, saying pretty much the same thing that Stephen A said. It does matter. It does matter. That, those are the lies that are going on in society. We tell people it don't matter, but behind your back, it matters. 
And that's what we gotta first oh, start man. off by saying. Like you hear you hear stats saying this because what people do in their bedroom, that's between them. <laughs> Not necessarily true, but I understand. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> you you get what I'm saying? Because you telling them it don't matter, but then it does matter. And anybody watching this knows it does matter. Even to people that participate, it matters. Because people will say, oh, it don't matter. And as soon as they find out, they out they're out in them. So it matters. Yeah. You know, oh, and when it comes shit, down to making money story. off the story, it matters. When it comes down to who dating you is going to matter. When it comes down to it, look at Cam. But it's good to camera on Cam. When it comes down to if you're going to be in the locker room with them, it matters. Because there's about 30 teams that did not sign Dwight Howard because it matters. And again, it was a consensual with, you know, it's kind of really the problem here. Is that is consensual. It's never consensual if you surprise somebody. <laughs> <laughs> you say, you say it's consensual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, and um, I don't be meaning to laugh. Sometimes I make myself laugh, but it's not funny. But it is funny. Don't be mad. Yo, he said it's consensual. <laughs> so just, uh, just think, you're somewhere, you're with somebody, and somebody walk out of the side door with a leprechaun outfit on. It's not longer consensual. But remember I told you that there was more to this story. And in the past, there had been other allegations that may, at this point, influence what we're hearing now. Because in 2018, a gay man and published author named Massine Elige, I'm probably saying that wrong, but Massine, claimed that he had been in a relationship with Dwight, but things took a dark turn. Apparently, he decided to come forward with what happened to him after he claims he was sexually harassed and manipulated by Dwight, as well as threatened by his pastor. And in a series of tweets and screen grabs, he explained exactly what happened. And he claimed that they had met on the set of Wild and Out and then Dwight slid into his DMs. Accused Dwight Howard of a relationship. And apparently they, they met at Wild, Wild and Out. And out. I like... guess she was there. <laughs> and then they played the clip of Dwight Howard. Twerking. Twerking. <laughs> on Wild and Out. Twerking on Wild and Out. And then we got Candy on the show. Candy's one of the cast members who, who is uh, a member of the LGBTQ community, but also a straight gangster. From, from Compton with the nails and all that. And like while Dwight's twerking, Candy's like, hey, I'm like, yo, was this uh, was this Dwight's come out party? Yeah, but, it was the, the way those pieces all fit together was so <laughs> crazy. It was, it just was like, unbeknownst to me. But I mean, to me, honestly, if you ask my honest opinion, again, because I love everyone and think people should just be open and be themselves. I haven't heard what he said, but I think it'd be so dope, so genius if Dwight Howard came out and was like, yeah, that's me. If they also started talking, which again escalated for, you know, sending pictures back and forth of the sexy type and chatting every night. He even went as far at that time to share DMs from Dwight, share voice messages to back up the story. But apparently they even ended up hanging out eventually and also were dating until my scene found out that Dwight had a special somebody who was this mysterious kitty who wasn't just another man, but a transgender sex worker, but a transgender lady of the night who Dwight loved to spend time with and that they also had these wild parties of sexy time nature that Dwight was also known to attend so yeah basically my guy my scene didn't know that Dwight Howard liked to get freaky freaky but scene apparently broke things off but it didn't stop there he claims that he started receiving calls from a private number claiming to be Dwight but it actually was his pastor and a person on the other line began threatening him over an unsigned NDA and tried to intimidate him into taking hush money to keep quiet about the relationship my scene eventually filed a similar lawsuit against Dwight and the pastor over the alleged harassment 
enforcement and tried to report it to the police, but was ignored because of how influential allegedly Dwight is in the city. And again, at this time, he lied about all of it. Made it seem like my scene was completely crazy when the truth is, is that it probably sounds like he did date him. And now, when you look at the story that's happening now, it makes Dwight look even less truthful because now he's saying that he is a homosexual, but this man is lying about his story. And people are just wondering if this is going to be the second gay man that he lies on. But with all the rumors circulating online about his sexuality, Dwight was forced to come out and make a statement. He denied the claims at that time again and said the lawsuit was nothing more than a money grab, the same way he's saying now about this new one. He even did an interview where he sat down and told the world that he wasn't gay and that he had never met my scene, which again sounds highly unlikely now. You know, a guy who said uh, it ended up being a situation that was it went viral, mm -hmm. people were talking about it, and it, it upset me because I didn't even know who the person was. And I'm like, why was somebody who I've never met, never had any contact with, make up a whole story about me? And I saw all the hate, the pure hate from people that I've never met before, just pile up Jack everywhere I went against me. And I think that liberated me um, because I saw how a lot of people would feel, whether they're, they're gay, whether they're straight, whether they have issues, people are afraid to be who they are. They're afraid to just step out and be, like you said, um, because they're afraid of what other people might say or think about them. And so that situation made me realize, you're not like this, but just be you, be free. And see, this is the thing. At that time, even though people believed the rumors, still pretty, the consensus was that pretty much Dwight was telling the truth and that he wasn't lying. And people pretty much chose to believe Dwight over this person with the smaller platform. But to be honest, Messine had also made similar accusations about being in a relationship with a rapper named Playboy Cardi, which many on the internet believe were made up. So he didn't have the best credibility at the time anyway. So it did kind of help people lean into believing Dwight. But this is the thing. Dwight has five children with five different women and it was even once married to WNBA star Tia Cooper but now that his past has come into light even one of his baby mamas has came out against him and accused the basketball player of some shocking things you see Royce Reed is a former Orlando Magic cheerleader and the mother of Dwight's oldest son Braylon the two don't have the best relationship but after the basketball player famously won a defamation lawsuit against her in 2010 you see she had been trashing him on the internet and claimed that he beat their son so Dwight filed a defamation lawsuit and one that forced her to pay him $500 every time she says something negative about him in public. Hey, A plus lawyer Dwight, I give you props for that one. She then filed a countersuit that accused him of child neglect for beating Braylon. He then admitted to using a bill to discipline his son, but the court did not choose to file any charges against him. But things took a turn over 10 years later in 2021 after Braylon, his son, was accused of inappropriately touching a younger child, the son of Royce then boyfriend. After an investigation, the court ordered Royce to keep her son away from the children younger than him by two years, including the boyfriend's son. However, Braylon continued hanging out with the child, which was discovered by his therapist who reported the incident to DCF. Royce was then charged with third-degree child neglect for failing to abide by the court's orders. Yes, this is bad. And again, this is Dwight's son. See, Royce is now coming forward to claim that Dwight was really the one responsible for his son's inappropriate behavior, which, to be honest, sounds like a stretch. Going as far as calling him evil. Now, Dwight recently posted a video of him motivating his children in the gym, trying to help them build mental strength and endurance and that didn't go too well with the internet. And of course, that seemed to trigger Royce where she posted on Instagram that he was pretending to be a parent for one day out of the 365 for the camera. You see, a message was reposted by the shade room and Royce ended up in the comment section where she made all kinds of wild claims about the father of her child. First, she called him evil, then said something crazy that I can't even repeat. She then also accused him of forcing her to sign an NDA so she could take on the role of matriarch of his many polyamorous relationships. She then allegedly says that he pays people to start smear campaigns against the mothers of his children. Finally, she also claimed that the situation with Braylon and the minor actually happened under his supervision. So yes, Dwight has had it tough and it seems like he's under fire from every way possible. And it seems like, well, maybe he's not guilty of everything, but there seems to be some smoke and some fire and because of the way he's lived his life, it's all coming out in the messiest way possible because he just wasn't honest from the beginning. Or at least he didn't know how to move and probably should have people sign NDAs before he does things with them, not after. But again, there are two sides to every 
story and we don't judge. You tell us what you think about all of this. So yes, while there are two sides of the story, when you look at all the accusations and all the information against the basketball player, it's safe to say that something is strange is going on with Dwight Howard. And it seems like this may be the end of his career as we know it. Now, whether his wealth and celebrity status will allow him to escape without any consequences, once again, it's hard to say. But at least when it comes to his, you know, him being in the closet, well, that's out now. So congratulations. We should celebrate that. But again, let us know what you think in the comments. I am Joe Stone, and this is the Church of Joe Stone podcast. Well, cool comes to pray. You come to stay in the subscribe button so you don't miss another video coming your way. Where we find the most shocking and provocative news and take it to church. I will see you in the next one. Bye. So look, if you made it this far into the video, you should watch one of these other videos that also are as insane as this one and probably 10 times more interesting. Click one and make sure you like and subscribe.